Blue YouTube going to show you how to get an HTC animated weather widget on the iPhone 4. Um, let's just do this. this is my Verizon iPhone 4. And I wanted to get a widget, a lot of the other things made my whole background become the HTC clock and weather and when I scrolled to the next screen it was still on there kind of didn't give it the widget feel and then I got a calendar with it for this you're gonna need a couple things you're gonna need iFile iBlank and then of course the HTC animated weather so let's show you how to get this stuff let's open up Cydia search and I typed in HTC weather animated you're going to want to click on that and then or modify as it'll say install after that installs we will go ahead and search for iBlank iBlank is what we need to give us blank icons so that we can put our application icons wherever we want and not have them interfering with the widget and then you're going to want iFile this just gives you the capability to change the location and degrees and customize the widget a little more. I don't really know that much about it. After you install those three things, you're going to want to go into Winterboard. Click No Icon Shadows for iBlank. And make sure you have user wallpaper. Click so your wallpaper is used behind that. Alright. Now what this weather element... No, oh, not this. Animated weather is, is a page widget. You're going to open the per page app. Now you can pick none, analog clock, calendar, or HTC animated weather. I just picked the calendar and the weather as you saw. Go into here, pick page one or whatever page you'd like, and then again for the calendar, I click page two. Now, after that, it showed up on page one, but I had all my applications clogging the view of the widget, so that's where iBlink comes in to play. And iBlink gives you this. You just select the number of blank icons you want to use and click create. And then I picked 15 because I have five column springboard and five icon dock. Oops. So I needed 15 and I'll show you. Those are blank icons. Now you need to rearrange those however you want them. in accordance to what widget you have picked out. Obviously I put mine there. Gives it a nice clean look. It flows. Looks like a widget. The clouds roll across the screen. My brightness on my screen is turned all the way down so you can see but it looks beautiful with the brightness all the way up on the retina display. This also works for the fourth generation iPod. Now to change your location and things like the degrees to Celsius or Fahrenheit and to actually turn on this animation which mine didn't have at first that's where we need iFile. iFile looks like this. Now you want to go into VAR Then mobile library and then 
her page. And that is where if you pick analog clock, you would go into there and change the settings. If you pick calendar, I didn't do anything with that. I just went into here. Now you want to pick figure me. Edit. And right in here. Bar locale equals. You want to change whatever in the quotations to location. And then far Celsius. I do not want to be Celsius, so I change the true to false. And then use real fuel to true. Show forecast true. So I want five day cast. And down here, show weather animation true. This said false, this said false, this said false. And this said true. I changed all those along my location. And then I click done. And after all that work, here are result. It's a beautiful widget. Didn't have to change the whole feel of your phone. I, there's some other themes out there that give you this, but I like the iPhone. I just wanted a weather widget. So Comment, rate, subscribe if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer. That's on the Verizon iPhone 4. Also tested it out on their iPhone and the iPod Touch.